Hi, my name is Rob Mamon, and I'm the ECS Product Specialist for Igus Inc. North America. I'd like to welcome you back to the Rhode Island booth tour here in Rumford, Rhode Island to show you our new addition, which is our two long travel systems. One in our galvanized seal system and one in our aluminum system. Built up into this galvanized steel system is our E442 chain with servo, power, and control cables. With these systems, we have the ability to run very long distances. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cycle this down just so you can see how this works. The chain will begin to start gliding on itself as it's being pulled down. What we have right here in the center, a center mounting point. And this will allow us to achieve the longest travel distance with the shortest amount of chain and the shortest amount of cables. And what happens is, is once the chain ends, we have our glide bars built into the trough and the chain will begin to glide on the glide bars as I continue down. And as you can see, it's mounted at the same height and continue to push down to achieve the full travel all the way at the end. I'm gonna cycle this back all the way to the beginning so you can see that the chain can achieve a 38 foot travel with half the amount of chain for the full system. Let me step over here to our aluminum trough system. This one is built up with an E432 chain, but if you notice the difference between our E442 and our E432, the profile is much lower. With our chain flex cables, we have the ability to break down cables into single conductors or break down multi-conductor cables to lower the profile to help with any space restrictions that we may run into with any applications. But they still deliver the same type of quality of a system. So with this aluminum system, I'm gonna cycle this down as well. Now as I get to the center point, I do want to point out one of the differences between the galvanized steel and aluminum is that the way the aluminum trough is mounted with the fixed end, it is with a fixed end module, which is like a clamp that clamps down onto the trough rather than drilling through to bolt down the fixed end bracket. But similar to the galvanized steel, we mount this in the center point where we use about half the amount of travel worth of chain to achieve the full distance. This is the shortest amount of chain and cable for a system to achieve the longest travel distance. Similar to our galvanized steel, it moves onto our glide bars and continues to glide down to the end of the travel. If you'd like to learn more about any of the products in our Rhode Island booth or gliding applications, please reach out to our territory managers or send a message to the email below. Again, my name is Rob Amon and thank you for your time.